a hem today. I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived happy, very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. A single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogue Point. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogue Point. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here. Hey, it's Princess Peach. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching me over me. He's so paranoid. Probably should get kidnapped so much. <laughs> like, once in a while I'd like a chance to look around on my own and see what I want. Oh, we all know what happens when you do that. But, now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy! Missy! Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well, um... Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows where the legendary treasure sleeps. But that, but the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Oh. I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I am sure that whatever is in there would be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? I'll try to open it. Hey everybody, it's Fluxfeather. Yes, I am back, and welcome to my Let's Play of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, also known as Paper Mario 2. So yeah, it's a sequel to my previous Let's Play, which was of the first Paper Mario game. Loading the save file. Do not touch the memory card in slot A or the power button. The save file has been loaded. Alright, so we will go ahead and get this started here. So, as you know, name is Flux. I'm not giving any of y'all my real name. <laughs> Alright. Saving settings, not touching, blah, 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 don't care. Alright. And just like the first Paper Mario, we open here at Mario's house. So yes. And it's a power carry. Too bad he's not a party member in this game. Mail call! <sighs> and again, Luigi comes out here and gets the app. It wasn't very original in the opening to this game. It has the pretty much the same opening as the first one. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from a Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll try to do voices, but... <laughs> I honestly don't feel like, uh, I'll just read it to you. How's that to sound? 
Ahem. Now let's uh, see here. This is one of my most favorite games <laughs> of all time. I, I love the first trilogy of Paper Mario. I wish they could have done so much better with the second trilogy, but... Uh, Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I th thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Like, why must he come? Like, doesn't he have shit to do? Like, gosh, he's a goddamn plumber. <laughs> what do you know? It's a true. There's a weathered ma old map in here with the letter. Check it out. I swear I suck in an Italian imp impression. Like, I, <laughs> my Italian accent sucks. <laughs> Nice. Here we go. Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Also known as Paper Mario 2. Though I said that already. But yeah. This one. This one is a, has a lot more mechanics than a first Paper Mario. And the, and the, combat, the combat system is a bit different. But it's pretty much the... It's pretty much it's like Paper Mario. It's very similar to the first Paper Mario, but it has its own, like, quirks and whatnot. Anyways, let's get into the prologue. Up, rogues, welcome. So, yeah, sorry if I'm not all that enthusiastic today. I'm just kind of bored. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Uh, work has been kind of stressful. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Alright. So, yeah, I've... How, how have you guys been? I, I know you, you can't answer me right now. Actually, I'd be kind of terrified if you were able to answer me right now, but... <laughs> uh, I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry, you say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Er, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, yeah, just get out of here. No one wants to hear your appeal. Alright, so we are in Rogueport. We got Bomb Bomb here. Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You've got, you got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Wow, we already look green. Mario Mario must be kind of seasick. Huh. I mean, that would make sense. Because <laughs> the thing about life is, you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. Alright, and so we got a toad over here. What do you want, pal, huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I'd remember a princess, probably. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, in this game, we already actually start out with a, a hammer. So that's really nice. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this save block. Hit this block to save all the events you've experienced so far. Even if your game ends, you can continue it from the last point you saved at. Yeah, yeah, we... We should be familiar with this by this point. <laughs> Alright. So, sadly we ain't got no spin dash in this game. That's one thing that really sucks. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! 
Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never! I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew! <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little ass like you met with an untimely demise. Buh, buh, buh. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump. We're on it. No, no! Stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Hey, get away from that poor defenseless woman. But, you monsters. Or else I'll. Well, we're gonna have to wait till the next episode, actually. Let's see. Anyways, the yeah, axe. Because I kind of want to keep this first episode kind of short. So, we'll be taking care of those guys in the next episode. So, like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to be notified when I post, download this video, be sure to check out other parts if you like this one, and I will see you guys later.